it's your boy back at it again with another sick YouTube video in the city skylines in the crispest 1080p 60 FPS, which is appropriate in 2020 with these new 4K consoles and whatnot. That's how we intro YouTube videos these days. <laughs> That's just how it is. Just how it is. It's, it's how it is. Accept it and move on. I've taken a look at nerd shipping and I approve of it. Is what I do. I approve of it. I am quite happy with how this is all coming together. And as I've discussed with the live stream, which by the way, if you are watching this on YouTube, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash conflict nerd. If you're not following already, there will be a link in the video description and following will let you know when I go live and what I'm playing. But we've already discussed this, but I want to discuss it again. There was something a little missing about this uh, town, this, this, this game, this, this run in City Skylines. And I wasn't sure what it was until I was sure what it was. Basically, everything was going quite well for a while. And then everything caught fire. You might notice that some of these trees are just recovering from a fire and that there's some trees over here recovering from a fire. You might notice that they're roughly at the same stage of recovery from said fire. The reason for that is that two independent forest fires started at the same time. And if that's not an omen, I don't know what is, to be completely honest, but I approve of it. What I also approve of is that we have about 50% demand for everything across the board down there at the bottom of the screen, and we also are uh, edging closer to $500,000 which is exciting because it would mean that I can go ahead and I can get my hands on da, 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 the cathedral, which I am kind of interested in because I want to move this graveyard and I want to put it up here because I think that would be a better spot for it. And then I want to put a, uh, a cathedral near it. I basically want to maybe expand this cliff out a little bit almost into the water, put a cathedral where like the back windows of the cathedral, because it's got that rounded back on it with those, what I would assume will be windows, looking out, you know, towards the mountains and towards the water and the island and all that, I think it would look beautiful. And then having a graveyard next to it, I think would be kind of a cool idea. So while the game's ticking over and generating uh, money, Let's do a little bit of terrain editing, which is something I wasn't really going to do too much over the save, but we're doing it now because I feel like it. Um, we're just going to bring this out a little bit. It's not going to go too far, but just sort of a, um, just sort of uh, something like this that just sticks out, you know, into the water. It's a little weird looking, but uh, we can we can do a little bit more of this further down so it doesn't look like it's just a unique feature, right? Or even this kind of uh, brings it together. A little bit of smoothing down at the bottom, probably not a terrible idea. But what we, what we could do is the same thing over here, just bring this out slightly so that it's, uh, just so that it's, it's, you know, this isn't just a unique thing, like I said. Uh, and what I think we could probably do is bring a decent sized brush in here and bring the strength way down. And just do that. Just one little touch of that brush kind of uh, makes it look a bit better. And I think that's okay. We'll let the water adapt. We'll put some grass up there. And then we can get a uh, we can get a cathedral and some graveyards up there and make it look all beautiful. Um, also, what is this? This is sand. So if I go in with this brush, does that take the sand out? It does. There we go. So we'll do that kind of thing. We'll take the sand off of the, uh, off of the cliff. We'll take it off of there as well. We'll let the grass kind of recover. We'll put a cathedral up there when we get the money for it, which we're very close to doing. And uh, we'll get a graveyard up there as well. And I think that'll be kind of cool. So roads wise, I'm honestly thinking we use the two lane plane straight. And I'm thinking um, that'll probably be enough space right there. That also needs to be raised up for whatever reason. Um, so we'll bring you up to about that height should be fine. 
And then in terms of connecting this to other roads, I mean, we could bring it straight down. We could do something like this. We'll figure that out in a minute. Actually, um, let's do this. Let's, let's see. Um, let's do that. And let's have those roads maybe sort of line up like that. We'll just bring it kind of straight out and it'll be fine. But <clears throat> we are about to get the money for the cathedral. Is it going to fit? Ooh, I mean, with a bit of anarchy, yes. Uh, ooh, I'm going to need to bring that out further. But that is exactly what I'm going for. It reminds me, oh, you know what it reminds me of? It's like um, Solitude from Skyrim is, is what it reminds me of. It is a bit of a bigger footprint than I thought it was going to be, though. I'm not, I'm not going to lie on that. So we'll have to bring the land uh, just up a little bit to uh, make it seem a little bit more natural, but that's not going to be not going to be too difficult, I don't think. I'm just kind of bring it up there. Uh, this side doesn't look too bad, honestly. And I think that is actually fine right there. Uh, so, you know, something like, uh, let's see, bring that strength down and give it just a little touch. Uh, that looks okay to me. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Maybe some rocks around here to really bring it together, but that looks all right. That's kind of kind of a dramatic spot for a cathedral. I kind of dig it. As for the graveyard, I mean, if I grab this and bring it out at sort of this angle, we can connect those together and we can put a graveyard kind of in here if we really wanted to. I think, uh, let's see, I think that kind of angle's fine, and then maybe a little something like that just to uh, tie it all together, and we can do some parks, we can do some graveyards, we can do all sorts, we'll also just go ahead and level this to that height, and I think that's kind of cool, I like that, I like the idea that we're going to make it more than just a, it's not just a cathedral, right, it's not just a cathedral sat, you know, on a, on a cliff, it's got a graveyard, it's got some parks, it's got some, sp some space to reflect or whatever, um, I, I like it, so let's go ahead and, uh, we are broke, we can't even afford a, a, a graveyard, a cemetery, whatever it's called, but that's okay, it's also huge, good lord. I always forget how big the cemeteries are. But we'll go ahead and put it there and then use move it to uh, just shuffle it along a little bit uh, to about the middle of that road. And then we'll bring it to there. So the gates are right on the edge of the road as well. And I think what I could do is maybe put some walls around that. So some walls kind of along this road. Uh, maybe take out some of these trees. And we'll bring some walls around and kind of make this feel, again, just more like, uh, I don't know, more like an area that you can go to uh, reflect and relax and all that kind of stuff. I think that'd be kind of nice. We can even do some paths to uh, and, and blend them together. So if we were to do, let's see, from there to there, and then from there to there. I like that. Oh, I could do some bollards on that as well to really make it seem like it's, uh, you know, uh, connected to, together. That'd be kind of neat. Let's take you out. I actually, I like that. We'll do, I think some, I think some walls around that, some fences around that will be, will be perfect. I like that a lot. We got a way for people to walk in. We can do some bollards up here so they aren't. Can I actually search for bollards? I don't even know if I have them. Bollard. Um, oh, we do. Fantastic. Okay. Well, a uh, little bit of uh, prop and tree anarchy on. A little bit of prop line tool and just something like uh, something like this. And if I go into the options, I should be able to do, let's see here. Uh, anarchy on. I like it. Bring that out a little bit. Actually, maybe just move the, the line of them down slightly. So something a little bit like that. And there we go. So now traffic's not going to go through there. We've got these bollards just to uh, make that uh, a pedestrian thing. I like it. Just little details.
cocktails. That's something I do want to do more of with this uh, with this this save. I wasn't planning on doing it right away, but here we are. Let's see. So let's see what else we could do. I do want walls. I think that's the only major thing that I want with this. Um, so what is the wall on this? It's brick, it's stone, it's whatever. I've got some tiled walls, which are interesting looking. Um, I've got some erosion. The tiled walls might be the way to go, to be honest. I don't think the, the plastered wall networks is going to be a good idea. So let's do some tiled wall. Let's see what we can do. So do um, this and do this. And let's raise it all up a little bit. And uh, honestly, that's not terrible. It's it's a little it's a little modern looking, it's a little industrial looking, but it's not it's not terrible. So bring you up to that corner. Bring you up to about there. And we'll grab um I just want to grab the the nodes here. So grab those nodes and bring them down. Just so that wall's kind of hiding inside the graveyard and then we're perfect. So something a little bit like this, and this coming down to about there, and we can do another stretch of it. That, to me, seems seems fine. The corner's a little bit messed up, but I'm not going to stress too much about it. It's probably more designed to be, uh, well, do we maybe want to change it into a different type of wall? Uh, plastered wall, perhaps? Hmm. The plastered wall might not be the worst, actually. We do have these brick walls as well, but they're uh, they're quite chunky. So I think I think we will go for the plastered walls just because why not? Um, so let me grab those nodes again and uh, just bring that whole thing down. So down to about that level. Very different looking type of wall, but that's fine. And then this guy can just go from there to there, and we'll drag it out with uh, a little bit of little bit of move it, and we'll be fine. In fact, do I want to just sink it into the ground? No, we don't want to do that. Okay, that seems fine to me. I'm not gonna go too crazy with um, all of this detailing just yet. Oh my god, I. I'm going to be honest, I saw the yellowy trees there and the orange, and I just for a second thought it was on fire. I'm not going to lie. Genuinely, for a second there thought that the, the cathedral had caught fire already, which, I mean, honestly, I don't even know if I'd be surprised. I, I don't even know if I'd be surprised. It's me, you know? That's, that's the thing with it. Also, I can't help but feel that the park fence would be more appropriate over here. So from, say, that spot going to uh, that spot and then, I don't know, just drag this, this node down to about there. I think that looks a little more, that looks a little better for a, uh, for a cathedral in, in my opinion anyway. And then this could come in to, say, there. I just, I think it looks nicer. And then some trees on the other side of it will look good. Um, over here, maybe we do the same along the road. I don't know. Either way, that's a start. Let's go ahead and surround it with, um, with a few trees. Let's make it a little bit more dense around here. So that we can uh, have a little bit of fun with it. So, just a couple of these. Give me that strength, please. Uh, a couple of those there. And uh, a couple of them over, over here. We'll do some smaller trees as well with a bit more strength. So, we can go ahead and just make this look a little, again, a little bit more dense. Uh, a few more of the larger trees, too. And uh, what else have we got? A couple of these guys. If I can get them in there. If they would actually go in there, that'd be great. So, just something like that. To, uh, you know, make it seem like, why, why do they, why can't I place trees in here? They just don't, they don't want to go in there for whatever, I might, I might have to place them by hand. I think we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to just do a bunch of individual trees because I want this to be 
kind of dense along there. And then we'll take them out of this middle spot. And then over here is going to be the same story. Is uh, a bunch of trees along these these paths. We can do some different ones too. It's just stuff like that, and like you, and you. All right. I think that's fine. It's a decent start in terms of power. I mean, we can just use this guy. So we'll do that, and that'll connect uh, connect those guys up. Also, gonna need water. Totally forgot about that. I can't believe it. I'm just thinking about it. I've actually managed to go this entire thing so far without forgetting about water. And then I just went and forgot about water. I'm devastated. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm, I, I am immeasurably devastated in myself. Is what I am. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Anyway. Let's not worry too much about that. Um... Let's go ahead and do, let's see here, we'll do those fences, and then we'll move them. So let's move these in a little bit, and get uh, kind of the same thing that we did on the other side with the, uh, the same type of fence. So, there and there, let me bring you... Out a little bit. Uh, this guy needs to come in a little bit as well. And you need to come out a little bit. So that looks fine to me. Uh, this guy is going to need to come in to about there. And you're going to need to be adjusted slightly. And then you're just going to be in line with, uh, with the other end of it there. That looks all right. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking I want to go for the the whole way around this is that kind of park fence up until about hmm I mean really it should be a right around the edge of the entire th health and safety would have a field day with this cathedral is what I'm getting at but uh, we're not you know we're not going to worry too much about that that to me is probably as good as that's going to get without some really intricate Intricate working and I'm kind of okay with that. I, I don't think it needs to be absolutely perfect This ending part admittedly should probably be more like there which uh, I mean I think I think Okay, I think this is okay. I've made it worse. I've made it considerably worse is what I'm discovering here um, This can live there and That'll be fine. Now we can just bring a little straight section of thing down here, and we're good. All right. There we go. That's fine. Okay. So now all I need to do, all I need to do is the same thing here. So a little straight section, and a little straight-ish section. Do that, and then I should be able to just grab this and drag it out. Okay, that looks fine to me. I'm not going to go too crazy. I, I said I wasn't going to go too crazy with it, and here we are 20 minutes later. But that's okay. This is this is good. Let's go ahead and empty the other one. Oh, for God's sake, this caught fire again! Oh, man. <laughs> this is going to keep happening. This is going to be this entire series. This entire save is just going to be things catching fire. That is all it's going to end up being. Also, that's a lot of hearses. That would be... That would be a little bit ominous, I feel. You know? You're driving up to church, and what do you see? But, you know, uh, 15 hearses rounding a corner. Like, oh, that's that's good. That's, that's what you want to see. Uh, what else can we do? We've got this lovely pink tree. Let's... Let's do, uh, let's do one there. And what else have we got? Oh, we got this one. Let's do one in that corner. Maybe just a, a bunch of them in that corner. And have we got anything else? We got this. I always like that tree. We've got this tree as well. I basically, uh, what I want to do here is I want to try and hide the, uh, very noticeable wall around the graveyard a little bit. 
by just doing some uh, some fairly dense trees. So just, you know, let's see, is there, there's a larger version of that tree. So let's do that and get rid of you. And well, I say hide it. I don't, I don't want to make it, you know, I don't want to completely hide it. I'm never going to be able to do that. But, you know, hide my crimes a little bit and, uh, you know, make it look like this is a little bit more of a, a park than it actually is right now. So something, uh, something a bit like that, I think. Maybe, uh, maybe something, something like that could go in there too. That's giant tree. That actually looks ridiculous. Let's get that out of there. Um, what about you? That looks okay. Maybe do, uh, do something in that corner too. Do something here. And, uh, I don't think, like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to hide the fact that there's a wall there. It's a very noticeable wall, but we can certainly make it a little bit less noticeable, I think. Do a slightly smaller tree there and another, another slightly smaller tree there and there and maybe one there as well. I think that's okay. This area over here is going to need some trees as well, so we'll do um, we'll do a few little pockets of, of smaller trees. We'll do maybe a slightly larger one and then an even larger one. We'll do a nice big tree there. And uh, what else? What else do we want to put in here? Maybe a couple of these kind of oak trees just to brighten it up a little bit. I think they're oak trees, right? Tree with leaves too. All right. Well, basically, I mean, I've, you know, honestly, I've always called oak trees that, you know, I'm walking down a street and I'm like, ah, there, right there, tree with leaves too. And everyone around me gets it. You know, you take one look at it and it's like, ah, that's, that's, that's not tree with leaves one. That's tree with leaves two. You know, there's, there's a distinct difference. So, you know, that makes sense. Um, I like this. I like this a lot. I do want to get a little bit of color in here. I absolutely, this is something I have always loved playing with is, is color in City Skylines. Going right back to Emerald County, uh, color was something I adored playing with in that series. I don't know how many people remember Emerald County, but uh, I would, I would always play with it. I had uh, those, those fields of just different colored plants. Uh, so any opportunity to use bright pink uh, or, you know, a bit of purple, uh, I, I absolutely adore taking an opportunity to, to do that. So a little bit of purple in there just to uh, just to make this pop a little bit, you know. Um, do I want some trees in the middle here? I feel like a large, uh, large pine tree or conifer or whatever the hell these are might be kind of cool in here with maybe a couple of small ones just uh, around it a little bit. So something like that I, I kind of enjoy. And then maybe uh, a few of these guys and a few of these guys a little further up. And then maybe we go in with, uh, let's see, let's go with just a couple of you. There we go. I think that's good. I think, I think that's good. I think that's a good space for, I think that's a good space for the cathedral and for the graveyard. And I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever properly integrated a graveyard into like a, a town or a city or something, but I, I like this a lot. I think this is really cool. I probably want to put some trees around the back of it as well, but for the time being, I think this is a pretty solid little space. We could make it an actual park and put some things in there, but I don't think we need to do that. You know, there's enough people walking up and down here. We got some people driving up and down. We have some bus stops nearby as well. So I think that's in a good spot. And this is empty. So we can go ahead and delete you. And then we have, you know, our official graveyard over here. And I'm wondering, capacity on this is 3,000. If I was to go into budget and I was to throw a bit more money into healthcare, does that increase? Is there a death care slider that I may not be aware of? I feel like there I feel like there isn't a death care slider. I want to say there's not. I don't <laughs> Hmm, I don't want to uh, it's vehicles, isn't it? It's going to have more yeah, it's got 13 hearses now. 
that's fine. That seems that seems okay by me. I, I I like this a lot. So now that we have this space down here freed up, let's go ahead and put another little suburb type thing in here. And we'll just do what we've been doing the entire time. We'll go and grab just a normal road and we'll do... Let's see, where do I want this to come off of? We could come off of here. Which I think is, is what we'll do. We'll get uh, angle snapping back on and we'll do grid snapping as well. And we'll go... I guess out to about there is pretty solid. And we'll just do whatever we can do. So we'll go out by 11 and bring this down a little bit and go up to there a little bit. And uh, I'm not really too interested in having this be perfectly... Uh, I, I, I don't really care if it makes a lot of sense is, is kind of what I'm getting at. Um, I just want some zoning. I just want this to be to be cool looking. Uh, so a little bit of that. I think it'll be fine. They can go kind of up close to the river. And over here, I think we could maybe go to... Let's maybe bring you down by one. Actually, what if we brought you straight out? Out to about there. And out to about there. And I think that'll be fine. We can definitely get some, uh, get some cool zoning in there. I do have prop and tree anarchy still on, so we've got trees in the roads and all that stuff, which is not great, but that's okay. Um, let's just go ahead then and do a little pocket of commercial right there. I think would be kind of cool. And then the rest of this is just going to be residential. And then, you know, a bunch of trees in here and a bunch of trees surrounding it to kind of incorporate it in with everything else that we've done. Uh, as well as paths and pipes and all that good stuff, but let's, uh, I guess we'll start with pipes. Which is, you know, something that, uh, I, I hadn't forgotten until recently. And I'm gonna hold on to that. I've, I've been very good with pipes up until I went and did that cathedral. So we're alright. We'll go to there. That'll be everything connected. And, uh, in terms of, is there healthcare out here? That is the question. There is. There is a little healthcare clinic nearby. We could probably do the clinic up here as well. So let's do a little let's do a little medical clinic on that corner. Uh fire coverage is okay. It is not okay up here though. So let's do I mean we have got the larger Do we have high density stuff? No. Uh we do have the larger fire station. I don't think we want to put it out here. I think I want to go for maybe the little the fire tower looking thing. Um, so we'll do that. I want to do it here. And that'll be a bit of coverage for that space. And then policing is all right. Let's do a little police station just there. So this place has policing and they can also come police this area. So we'll let that all build. They'll have power pretty much immediately. We've got some fire coverage in here. We are going to want to do paths and things like that. So let's, uh, I guess, immediately go in and start doing that kind of thing. I'm going to use a bit of free forming. Just so I can, uh, you know, not have them all be completely perfect straight lines. Uh, and just because I'm a little bit awkward, I want to go ahead and do uh, this sort of thing for this path. I'm going to turn guidelines off. And uh, possibly grid snapping as well. So we're going to bring this through here. Uh, just so it sort of snakes around. We can do some trees in there to kind of hide it a little bit. Uh, these guys over here, do we want to connect them together? We probably could. I don't think I will. I'll bring a path off of here though. And down to about there. Um, they're technically connected. You guys, I guess we could connect these. So something just a little bit off of here. Uh, that can go down to here. So those two have a, a nice little path going between them. And that's probably all we're going to need for paths around, around this neighborhood. Let's just go ahead and do trees now that we've got things building. And uh, prop and tree anarchy is off. I think, yeah, those trees are actually in those properties. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, let's start with a couple of the uh, the oak trees. We'll do a pretty low strength brush. And just throw them, uh, you know, just around a little bit. Not too many of them. So just something a bit like that. Uh, maybe a couple of these larger trees just in there a little bit. Just to spruce things up a little bit. That's a tree joke for those of you that uh, that aren't aware. Um, we aren't. It would have been funnier if we were using spruce trees, but uh, I'm not. So that joke probably falls a, a little bit flat. I guess you could say that that joke is uh, lumbering around a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I went there. I went there. That's that's uh, that's the uh, that's the kind of humor you can expect from. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just make sure you yell timber before that joke falls flat. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Anyway, we've got uh, we've got this area kind of looking the way I wanted it to, which is fine by me. Do we have a decent little bus stop down here? We actually do, which is perfect. So we've got a couple of bus stops there. We got this new little neighborhood by the highway. I do want to go in there and I do want to put in some decent sized uh, conifer trees. I want to put these kind of along the highway to almost be a, a sound barrier. So just uh, just a few of those. We can do a couple in here as well and there too. Um, we'll get one kind of there. And we'll go in with a few of the uh, the smaller ones too just to really make this feel kind of dense here. Because it absolutely should be quite a, uh, a dense section of trees. Just again to uh, really uh, nail home the idea that it's kind of a natural sound barrier. There we go. I think that actually looks okay. You know, I, I think that'll do... I mean, you're obviously going to see and hear the highway. But, uh, you know, it's it's fine. I think that's, I think that's fine. Um, that's kind of cool looking. So we got that new little area in there. What is our next milestone? Our next milestone is what? 5,500 people. Okay, we get campuses at that point as well. That's kind of neat. All right. Not going to say no to uh, to getting campuses at some point. But I'm I'm really happy with this. I I I love I love zooming out and looking at this. It does it makes me really happy. And this area up here as well makes me really happy. Uh, this area doesn't, though. This area so far, I'm not thrilled with. Um, high school availability is fine. Elementary school availability is not... I mean, it's fine as well. I feel like this could just be a park for the high school. So let's go ahead and make this a, a park zone. Right, let's let's make this into into something that we can fill in a little bit and make it look kind of neat. So uh what is what is this gonna be? Lilac Gardens, sure. That's that's a fine name for a park, I suppose. Uh entrance-wise, we can use the small park main gate. Which can go there, I guess. I mean, hmm, maybe it shouldn't. Maybe there would be a better spot for it. Are they opposite each other? Oh, the zoning on these roads is not going to line up. That's going to be fun. That's going to be really fun. I love, I love when zoning doesn't line up. That's my favorite thing. Um, we'll do an entrance down there. And I guess we'll do an entrance over here. That'll be fine. In terms of pathways, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't need this to be nothing too fancy. I'm going to be honest. I think this is going to be a pretty boring park. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, hmm. So bring this over to here. Bring this to here. And how do I go about getting a curve on this? I think if I just do a straight section of path, I can probably... And curve that out a little bit. That's better. I should probably have those corners be curves as well, but that's that's fine. So we have that. 
In terms of, um, hmm. I mean, I could, I could if I really wanted to put an entrance on here, but I don't really know that I want to do that. Although, if I was to do a couple of entrances there and then say, let's grab buildings, I can technically drag this out and put it there. And I can technically drag this out and put it there. And that doesn't look too bad. So what we could do at that point is just, uh, you know, bring a, bring a path straight out here. Run you straight up and run you straight up. And then run this. Uh, ooh. Uh, that's a little buggy looking, but I might allow it. I'm going to be honest. I think I'm going to allow it. I'll just hide that crime with a tree, which is kind of the way I, I do everything. So I'm okay with that. I think some fences and uh, some trees around it, and that's going to look okay. But what I want to do first is see if I can do... Can I place... Oh, for God's sake, I can't do this. Can I? So these can't go... These have to go at roadside. That's frustrating, but I guess we can do that. And then I guess we could move it along a little bit. Just to make it look more like a high school park. You know? I, I don't I don't like that I can't place these particular things on uh park paths, but well, I guess it's whatever. Um, that's fine. I like that. Let's go ahead and bring the, uh, the paths or the fences or whatever the hell they're called. Fences. That's what they're called. I don't know. There's, there's no, there's no debate here. We'll bring those around is what we'll do. Uh, we'll bring it up to there and, uh, we'll bring it up to, uh, not quite there. It's a little too far. So grab that node and just shuffle it along a little bit. And that seems pretty solid. We'll bring that around in a second. Uh, this over here, I'm not 100% sure what the best way to do it's going to be. Because I don't want to curve it out there. I don't care about that part. So we'll just bring it straight out and just bring you um, to there. And then I guess what we do with this fella is bring it to here, bring it across bring you to there and uh, bring this out. So the reason I brought that across is I can go ahead and delete the bit there and make it look like there's kind of a larger entrance going on than there actually is. I think that looks fine, other than the fact that we obviously don't have a uh, section of fence right there, but that's fixable. Uh, so grab you and drag it out. And there we go. So that's, that's our, our high school area. I think that's kind of cool. I think that's kind of cool. We could do, um, like I said, we need to, uh, need to hide some crimes. So let's go grab a nice big tree to sort of distract from uh, that horrible corner there. And uh, we'll grab just maybe something like that. So there you go. You can't really notice that there's uh, some some awfulness going on there. Fill up this space a little bit too, maybe throwing in a large, uh, large conifer just to, uh, to blend into its, you know, the rest of the surroundings. I think that looks okay. Uh, we could maybe do a nice large conifer in those spots. Actually, a really nice one right there. That's good. Okay. Uh, slightly smaller one. And then, uh, one of these guys there and one of these guys there just to, uh, to break that up a little bit. Okay, I think that's a pretty solid start on a... on a, on a, a high school park and, and plaza. I think that'll fill up that space pretty well. I'm just debating whether or not I want to do an actual plaza in here. I'm kind of tempted. We could do one there. We could do one here. I'm thinking... I'm thinking there. Uh, we don't have anything else unlocked right now, so... I don't think a plaza there is a, a terrible idea. 
And if we really wanted to, we could argue and say that these are, you know, buildings for the high school or something, you know? Uh, park info booth could maybe be a cafeteria. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, just a couple of buildings dotted around to make it look like there's just a bit more going on. You know, maybe a, uh, a little cafe over here could be, uh, yeah, I, I actually like that. I think that'll help to make this area look a little bit less barren. So that works. That, that actually works for me. Let's just finish this off then with a couple of, um, a couple of different trees just to, uh, you know, bring it all together. I, oh, hello. Ooh, not bad. Lilac Gardens has already reached level two. That was surprisingly quick. All right. Well, I mean, fair enough. So a couple of trees down here. Uh, let's see. Do one there and there. I do want some inside of the grounds as well. I'm not just putting them around the uh, the uh, the edges here. So something like that. Something like that. And uh, I think some lighter ones. So some oak trees in here could be a pretty good idea. Uh, just to, to break up that really strong green color. And then once we have these oak trees in here, I think it's time for... Just a little bit of a uh, little bit of pink is uh, is what it might be time for. So let's go grab you, and we'll do a little cluster there. We'll do a little cluster here, and we'll do a little just single one there. And I think that's pretty good. We can do the slightly lighter pink one just over here, slightly more reddish, and then a purple one. I want a purple tree somewhere. Let's do the purple one. Um, you know what? Let's do the purple one here. And I think that looks okay. I think this space is a bit awkward. Uh, I, I actually really think that space is awkward. I think that space really needs something. Uh, what can I put in there? I think a couple of these guys. That's better. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's perfect. That's, that's kind of what we're going for. Just something to fill that space. We do need some statues or parks or plazas or something to put in front of this. But for the life of me, I am pretty sure there isn't a single three by anything plaza in base game city skylines. I think the smallest we're going to get is the Japanese plaza at four by four. So I might, I might need to, uh, uh, well, parking lots. We could put some parking lots in there if we really wanted to. Uh, it's not really my kind of thing, so we're probably going to have to design something ourselves. Um, because I, yeah, I'm pretty sure <laughs> we can get parking lots. Which, you know, truth be told, it's a high school, people are probably going to want to park there, but no. That's, that's decorative, is what that spot should be. So, uh, I think that's fine. I actually, I like that. It, again, it kind of blends in with, with all the nature around here, so... I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain that I got another park in here. That's something I never managed to do in, in the Green Cities series, in the Park Life series, was get just loads of parks into different spaces. So this is good. Cool.